If it's Thanksgiving Day in the Tri-Valley League, then chances are good that Holliston and Westwood are playing to determine the large division champion. Holliston won it the past two years and is the defending Super Bowl champion, while the Wolverines are looking for their first trip back to the postseason since 2004. My name is Bruce Lurch with the Boston Herald, and here are your highlights. The Wolverines hadn't beaten Holliston in three years, but quarterback Alex Berluti showed early on that he had other plans for this year's holiday showdown. On the Wolverines' second possession, Berluti connected with his brother Bo on a 51-yard pass that would set up a five-yard touchdown run for Brandon Rodenbush two plays later. Holliston came right back as Matt Jay hit Zach Elkinson on this 23-yard pass, then TVL MVP Max Athey hit Paydirt with a 26-yard scoring run to tie the game at 7-7. Fast forward to the final minute of the half with Westwood now holding a 14-7 lead as the Wolverines drove from their own 34 down to the Panthers 14 and faced a tough call on fourth down. Westwood coach Ed Manti elected to go for it and was rewarded with a big play from his senior quarterback. I mean, if you're getting your kids to believe that we're the better team, then you got to, you know, once you have your hands around the throat, you got to squeeze a little bit, and that's what we tried to do. Um, you know, we were... We were able to control the clock a little bit there at the end of the first half, get down a position where we could take some chances. You know, got down to fourth and ten, but, uh, you know, we, we made that, that uh, I mean, that's the play of the game right there to push up 21-7 and a half. Westwood went to the ground in the second half as Daniel Roach carried most of the load en route to a 141-yard effort and helped set up a second score for Rodenbush here. The Panthers then reached into their bag of big plays and Jay delivered hitting Zach Elkinson on the right sideline and watching as the sophomore wideout sprinted all the way home for an 85-yard touchdown. That would cut the Westwood lead to 27-14. Westwood needed just five plays to put the game out of reach, however, as Roach capped a 54-yard drive with a one-yard touchdown run to give Westwood a 35-14 lead late in the third quarter. Since 2004, to bring home the league title is really great. It's important. Uh, I thought the team played really well. Uh, everyone did what they had to do. We, were, we worked hard for two weeks. We prepped, we prepped in the offseason. We got ready to do what we had to do, and it was a good win today. So. It's a new era now with the new coaching staff and everything. So uh, we just got to keep this in the I don't know what it means for the program going forward. Certainly, it's going to you know give us a little momentum. It just it, it kind of ends a little bit of the mystique that Holliston had over us over the past couple of years, and I, I, I think that um, you know the, the tables have turned a little bit, and uh, it's nice to have Westwood back on top.